Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney Springs and I'm going to be partaking in the Magical Dining Month experience where a bunch of restaurants got together and created a prefixed menu where you get a appetizer, an entree, and a dessert for the low, low price of just $37. And a lot of those restaurants are right here on Disney property, so we're going to explore some of them and also eat at one of them. Anywho's, let's go do this. This is something new down at Disney Springs. They have a nice little Disney Junior photo op. And look, they have Spidey and Amazing Friends, and then the Mickey Mouse Fun House, and then a little stage there, and some photo pass photographers. Awesome, I like when they do little pop-ups like this. This magical dining experience is actually running all the way till October 3rd. And like I said, you can't beat the price of $37 to get all that food. And it's not just Disney Springs. They're at a couple different Disney resorts and Disney restaurants, they actually are doing it. And all over Orlando, and it's run by Visit Orlando. So like I said, I'm excited to actually try some of them and uh, some restaurants I've never eaten at before. Here are a couple of the restaurants that are partaking in the magical dining experience that's on Disney property. And you can see it's not just Disney Springs. We have Bonnet Creek here, STK, Terralini Crafted Italian, Wolfgang Puck, Deep Blue Sea at uh, Wyndham. Then they've got uh, right here, uh, more Disney Springs. Paddlefish, Paddlefish at Disney Springs is a really, really good one. Todd English's Blue Zoo, these are the Swan and Dolphin. Il Molino, New York Trattoria. And I'm excited, like I said, all these ones are offering select items and you get a appetizer, entree, and dessert for the low price of $37. And it's everywhere, it's just everything has a different menu. And I think it's really fun and we have a lot to do with this. We can actually explore all these restaurants. If you need to get more information about it, just Google Visit Orlando Magical Dining. And there's a website that has all the restaurants that are partaking in the event. And they also have all their menus on there so you can pick and choose where you wanna go. Tonight, I'm gonna figure out where I wanna go since we're at Disney Springs. I was thinking maybe STK, Paddlefish, or Wolfgang Puck because all three of those, I really never sat down and had a meal meal. Oh wait, I did at Wolfgang Puck, but it was a long time ago. And uh, I guess we'll just have to find out which one has a reservation because I didn't make any plans. Before we get to the restaurant, so I was thinking about doing some hat shopping and seeing what cool hats they have at Chapel Hats. They have this outdoor kiosk and then they have a real store over on the other side. And I guess maybe we'll just take a gander. I'm always in the market for some snazzy hats and they always have great hats here. I've never actually gotten a hat from any of these locations before. So I kind of want to take a gander and just see what they got going on. As you can see, they have tons of the fedoras that I like, but I'm trying to find different hats because these ones are 100% paper and they actually, once they get wet, they're ruined and it actually is like a one and done. So if you ever get caught on a rainstorm, they're really not good anymore. Or if you sweat a lot, like me sometimes, then uh, they kind of just get ruined. So we're looking for something with a little bit of polyester or cotton and I'm not seeing anything in here, even though the hats are very fancy. We might have to check out the big store. They probably have a bigger selection. The big store is just around the corner. So like I said, they probably have a much bigger selection. Hopefully we can find a fancy fedorable there. A <laughs> fancy fedorable fedora. <laughs> As we make our way over to the Chapel Hat store, I wanted to point out Paddlefish, which is one of the restaurants that's partaking in the Magical Dining Month. And it's a pretty nice restaurant. Hi friend, how are ya? Oh, cheers! <laughs> yeah, and I was thinking about eating here, but I do want to do like a full, full dining review. I had their lobster corn dogs one time and they were phenomenal, so probably not today. Another restaurant that's taking part in the Magical Dining Month is Terralini Crafted Italian and they have the menu right here outside that you can grab so I figured I would show you even though I'm probably not going to eat there because I've had I think everything on this menu. I actually like coming here. The chicken parm's not too bad and I like the meatballs but I want to try something different you know? Right here's the menu and you can see like I said $37 and you pick one uh, appetizer, one entree, and one dessert. And they've got good selections. You can get meatball, Caesar salad, bruschetta, or you can get chicken parm, catch of the day, center cut pork chop, and the tiramisu. See, I would definitely want to get this because that's everything that I would like to eat. But I've already eaten here, so it makes me, like I said, I just want to try something new, but this is phenomenal. 
but now we gotta mask up and jump inside the chapel hat shop i love coming to hat shops i mean they're really cool i don't like trying on the hat so much uh, but if there is one that i'm really really deciding on wanting to buy then i would try it on and here it is right next to the boathouse which i wish was partaking in the magical dining month that would be amazing and we can take a look I, they have a lot more hats than the outside kiosk holy moly there's a tons of hats in here and some fancy ones too look at these these remind me of uh, the chocolate uh, emporium over at universal studios nice steampunk like feel to them they are steampunk now these are some hats that i might be interested in and it's not a hundred percent paper it's polypropylene and it's supposed to be water resistant and it doesn't damage the brim folds and it always goes back to the way it was you can crunch it up and mess around with it and it'll always just go back to the way it was and i think i'm interested i really like these <laughs> look it even says what's on your mind on the inside i don't know how much they are but we're gonna try it out all right, I decided on purchasing a hat and uh, I'm gonna show you guys right now. I hope it's a, a good purchase because it, it is a little bit more expensive than I thought it was. So it being a uh, nice hat like that, I would expect that it actually can handle some wear and tear. But here we go. Ooh, I'm bald. <laughs> Here's the new fedora. I like it. And you can actually fold it up like that, fold it down and the brim never bends and ooh, I don't like it like that. There we go. Oh wow, this is gonna be good. It's water repellent and yeah, I'm excited. I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. It feels fancy, it feels nice and, oh, I don't wanna bend down like that. See, you can change it in all different positions. Oh no, just like that. There we go. Little curl up here, little curl there. Bada bing. I think I'm gonna keep the new hat on. I put the other hat back in this bag that they gave me and it's a very fancy bag. And now we're gonna get something to eat. A little test run on the new hat I'm excited I'm excited to see like all the wear and tear they say it's completely water resistant wrinkle resistance and it's supposed to be the ultimate hat and I'm pumped for it so now I think uh, like I said we're gonna go get something to eat and I'm gonna try STK and see if they have any open reservations it's not even five o'clock so I don't even know if they're open yet and here we are it also looks like they are open and they have the menu available for us to check out and i'm excited for this wow 37 dollars per person and they have some amazing appetizers they've got a nice caesar salad a tuna tartare the little bergs i love these little bergs they are so delicious a coffee rubbed eight ounce ribeye steak maple rubbed salmon and then also they have uh, some additional sides and upgrades that you can do. And for dessert, apple pie and cheesecake. I think this is it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I mean, or steak dinner, I guess. <laughs> Let me know in the comments where you guys think I should go next for our magical dining adventure. Like I said, there was a whole list of other places, some within Disney, some outside Disney, but I'm really interested in this. I think it's really unique and it's a good way that you can actually try some of the places you've never tried before. So like for $37 for a steak from STK and plus you get the appetizer and dessert, uh, that's a great deal because I think the regular steaks are like $50. So like you're saving a lot and getting a lot for your money. I love the dining room in here. It is so well lit and they actually have like a dimmer dining room over on that side. So if you like a dark environment when you're eating, then you can sit on that side. But if you like it nice and bright, you can sit over here and it's just so like fancy in here. Fancy restaurant, so I had to take my fancy hat off and they brought out a bread service and I didn't even think the bread service was gonna be included in the magical dining and it is, and it is amazing. Wow, this is a fancy, fancy bread service. I think I said fancy like seven times there. Look at that bread. Holy moly, right? And it comes with a blue cheese butter and then some pressed uh, oil. I don't know exactly what's in this, but I mean, this is, this is some high class stuff here, folks. Oh, look, you can just take it right out of there. I'm gonna start at the bottom here and look it actually pulls apart so easily oh wow look at the steam coming off that bad boy I am NOT the biggest fan of blue cheese so I don't know how much I'm gonna like the blue cheese butter but I'm gonna give it a go just so we can know I'm gonna give it a go just so we can know
I can't get over the chive oil. It is my favorite. It doesn't look the best, but oh man, so, so good. Even though I wasn't a big fan of the blue cheese butter, I did absolutely love the chive olive oil that was with it. That was so, so good. And I asked, and they said that you can get it without the blue cheese butter, and you can get it without the butter. I think it really just comes down to whether you like blue cheese or not, like I said. Uh, if you are a big fan, then it's probably gonna be delicious. And now our appetizer has arrived, and take a look at these beautiful little burgers. Holy moly, right? This is so superb. I absolutely love it. It comes with a little special sauce, comes with some tomato and some caramelized onion and a pickle and a nice sesame seed bun. And this is Wagyu beef as well. But these are so, so good. I cannot wait to try it. And like I said, you can't beat the price. A bread service, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert for $37? That is breathtaking. Look at these little things. They look so, so good. <laughs> I can't wait to try them. And I think I've had them before when I came for happy hour and they were phenomenal then, but here we go. Absolutely perfect. What an amazing appetizer these are. They're very, very tiny though. That's why they're called little birds. And uh, it is an appetizer. I think they're even smaller than uh, White Castle, maybe. Like, I don't know how to give it, like, a, they're about uh, ramekin size. So, if you take a look at the ramekin, they're just about the same size as the ramekin. But, unbelievable. So amazing. I guess you can say I'm a Little Birds fan. I would come here just for these. And I definitely did get these before. I got them when I came here to do my happy hour. And I think the happy hour, uh, I think these were $5. And now it is time for the main course. An eight ounce coffee rubbed ribeye with french fries, steak sauce, and they gave me a little ketchup there, but I don't think I'll be using the ketchup. And look at that, I mean, it's not the biggest steak, but everything that you're getting all together, I feel like it actually is worth the value. Do you know what I mean? And I can't wait to cut into it. I ordered it a little Pittsburgh medium. Uh, so we'll see what it comes out to be and I can see it's well nice and seasoned You can see all the season on there. So this is gonna be a good steak. I can already tell We're gonna cut into it. I think I'll start on this side. Yeah, this seems like a good spot right there Oh, I'm excited Oh Wow, that is Gonna be a good good steak. Oh Yeah, much too good I'm gonna cut it up into another small bite though. We're gonna conserve here. <laughs> Perfect. The first steak bite, and I am excited for this. Here we go. That is so, so good. Holy moly. I feel kind of bad that it's only an eight ounce steak right now because I could probably eat like a regular full size ribeye of this. Unbelievable. Very, very good. I am excited. Holy moly. I'm still trying to figure out where this steak actually lies with me. You know what I mean? Is it as good as Shula's or as good as Yachtsman Steakhouse? Gonna be tough. I would put it maybe above Topolino, but not as good as uh, Yachtsman, Shula's, or uh, Le Cellier. Like, I feel like uh, this is probably rounding in my fifth spot. It is a little bit better than Topolino's, I feel like. I feel like if uh, a good solid way to go is STK. California Grill, Yachtsman, Le Cellier, and uh, Shula Steakhouse as my number one. So just in that order, and I feel good about that. I do feel good about that. I don't know if I went into full detail last time, but on the Walt Disney World property, that's my top five. I would have to say, I think the coffee rub actually really makes this one stand out for me though. It is such a great combination, and it's a good cut of steak already. Thank <laughs> you. 
the french fries that come with the steak are pretty good as well but if you do want to get a different side it does cost ten dollars so i opted out on not getting an additional side so like if you wanted to get mashed potatoes with it they would probably just not add the french fries to the steak and then they would charge you ten dollars to get mashed potatoes so i took the french fries and they're not that bad i mean they're pretty good they're just regular uh like uh just regular french fries i feel like <laughs> what do you say about them ate every last bit of it except for the steak sauce and ketchup I really didn't need those and now it's time for some uh, apple pie my my miss American pie now it's time for the dessert like I said and I went with the apple pie you could have gotten the cheesecake but I feel like the apple pie is the definite way to go and I'm excited to try it I'm a little full so I'm expecting it not to be that big it seems like everything is a little bit tiny on every single item but as a whole it adds up you know what I mean little birds little steak little apple pie equals a big big meal for $37 they also came around and lit the candles it's starting to get into the dinner service and they have a DJ here as well. Look at that, DJ R or DJ JR. That's very fancy things. Like I'm really liking STK. It's 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 kind of hopping in here. It's hopping in here, and I'm sitting over here just minding my own business, relaxing and enjoying a wonderful magical dining experience. And wow, here is the apple pie. This is amazing, holy moly. I can't even get over it. I wasn't expecting this. I was like, expecting like an apple tart, but this is a real apple pie and it just looks so amazing. I love how they have the crumb and the vanilla ice cream there. I can't wait to dive into this. Oh yeah, we have to get a little bit of that ice cream and a little bit of the pie all together and get a swirl. You gotta swirl and get the sauce, the caramel. Perfect. Uh, this is turning into something else here. One of the best dining experiences I think I've ever had. And I'm, I'm excited. Honestly, that is so, so amazing. What a great apple pie. <laughs> This is really, this has really been something else here today, I can say, folks. What do you guys think about $37 price tag for all the food that you guys have seen? It's the bread service, the little birds, the, the uh, coffee rubbed ribeye, and the french fries, and now this amazing apple pie. I feel like that is, it's just too good. It's, it's such an amazing, it's magical. It is a magical dining experience. Also, I just got some amazing news. You get your annual pass discount along with the magical dining. How crazy is that? So you're gonna save money if you're an annual pass holder on an already bundled saving money deal. Now we are all finished and I have to say, I'm excited to do more of the magical dining adventures. Like that was so awesome because normally I don't get like an appetizer entree dessert. I usually get either an appetizer and an entree or I get an entree and dessert because it gets expensive, you know what I mean? But I like being able to sit down and trying multiple items. You know what I mean? I would rather try a bunch of small things than probably one big meal and that's what you're actually doing with this and it's a really good price so like I said before let me know in the comments where you guys think I should go next uh, uh, somewhere at Disney Springs should I go to the Swan and Dolphin or somewhere outside Orlando I mean there was a lot of restaurants to look into on this and we've got a whole month until October well not a whole month maybe about three weeks to actually uh, try as many as we can I do have to say it is a beautiful evening here at Disney Springs. I can hear some of the music actually starting and we're going to have a nice sunset. I don't know. I mean, I would hang out here for the rest of the night, but kind of want to get home to see Gracie. So maybe we'll check out a store for a little bit. I love going into Disney style because they always have good things in there. Hey, friends. How are you? Oh, thank you. Nice. Well, have a great night. All right. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> So yeah, I think we'll go into Disney style and uh, yeah, see if they have any cool new merchandise. They've always got the hips, cool stuff inside there. It's Disney style, you know? I love this store and I love the mural that they have on the back wall there. And they actually added some new things to it that I always like to point out because they keep it current with the, the castle on Main Street or the real time castle. And you can see because it's the Halloween season, 
they uh, added all the Mickey pumpkins to it. Isn't that something amazing? And also, the 50th logo on there. That is so amazing. They also have a cool selection of the Disney Artist uh, series. And I like this one here because I like the way Mickey looks. And I think that they used to sell this uh, artist uh, stuff actually at the uh, Uniqlo. I don't know if this is Keith Herons or not. I'm not too sure. I don't know how to tell, but it looks like his design. I don't know, but it's really nifty though. I do like it. And I also have another one over here. And this is kind of cool because it reminds me of uh, the uh, Animal Kingdom Mickey Mouse a little bit. But these are all nice and these are all part of the Disney Artist Series. And they have uh, two different artists right now, I believe. I also like the Maleficent Dragon Spirit Jersey. Look at this. That is a cool spirit jersey. I wouldn't mind actually wearing this closer to October. I like the back too. That is so awesome. I wish they'd bring back Fantasmic. That's all I see on this side. I just wish Fantasmic would come back. They also have these alien ears over here. I like this. I have been chosen and it matches my t-shirt today. You know, the alien does because the alien's on my shirt. This is my Pixar Roosevelt shirt and you can see all the different Pixar characters on here and you can see the alien's eyes and Mike Wazowski and up. You can see everything on there. I really like this shirt and I love all of the shirts that they make. They fit so comfortable. But also I think maybe we'll go over here and check out the live music. Uh, I like uh, just kind of like vibing down at Disney Springs. You know what I mean? that I think I am done here today I had so much fun like I said I look forward to making more of the magical dining month uh, restaurants and uh, soon I'll be back here down at Disney Springs hanging out checking out all the Halloween stuff and a lot more Halloween stuff to come because as we get closer to October more and more things are gonna be happening and uh, I'm excited it's gonna be a great month September started out pretty amazing and we have a lot of great stuff to actually do for the whole entire month lots of new reopenings and uh, I'm gonna try to cover everything as it comes so I hope you enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye